Hey everyone, Kevin Fisher, Regional Sales Director with One America's Care Solutions. And with me again, as usual, is my friend, colleague, neighbor, and counterpart, Mike Florio, also a Regional <laughs> Sales Director with One America's Care Solutions. And if you think we're trying to make each other laugh, you're absolutely right. <laughs> so welcome everyone. Uh, Mike, what are we gonna talk about this episode? Kev, the thing we're gonna talk about, yeah, so we've been talking um, recently about uh, Spider Rider, the single premium drop-in rider, and before that, flexibility in terms of premiums and different ways that you know uh, One America accepts premiums. But you know, there's a great way to fund these products, and if you know, client could use an income rider on their VA or indexed annuity, how great would that be to be able to fund our ongoing or recurring premium products? So that's what we're going to talk about today. But I know that you want to mention things that are happening. Um, that would really help out some of our listeners on Tuesday nights. So why don't you go sure. into that? Just a reminder, uh, I mentioned uh, last week that uh, we've extended our, our virtual consumer seminar. Please take advantage of it. Uh, the folks that have been on it have, have actually uh, found some uh, found some good results uh, mm -hmm. that we've um, brokered, if you will, a conversation between you and your, your clients uh, as it relates to uh, discussing extended healthcare planning and the funding thereof. Uh, so every Tuesday uh, at 7 p.m. Eastern, our virtual consumer seminar uh, will run until the end of the year. I think that's December 29th, uh, 7 p.m. Uh, mm -hmm. nice. Keep an eye out for more information. We're working on uh, finding more resources to help you promote uh, that. We also currently have some uh, resources so that you can prospect or work with your clients um, electronically and utilize some of our customized material. Uh, to to uh, work into them. So give Michael or me a call and let us help you uh, help your clients address their extended health care concerns and funding funding issues. So I'm going to throw it to you, Michael. Let's get rolling on our conversation for the day, which is funding. Yeah. So One America does a great job, as I mentioned just a few minutes ago, with uh, allowing different you know, uh, options to fund our products and set up on you know, different ways to fund our products. So there's the annual premium. And on that annual premium, unlike other options in the industry today, everything is still on a whole life chassis. So there's cash value buildup. There's still a death benefit. So it's never a use it or lose it proposition. And, and I really want to emphasize this, Kevin, everything is guaranteed. The premiums are guaranteed. They can never go up. And that's really a, a great option when you when you've got uh, anything that's on a recurring platform. In addition to the annual pay, we've got that five pay, ten pay, or twenty pay. So if there is that option for a client to create income and to set that up and have that go automatically to to feed the premiums on these policies, that's ideal. And I know that uh, there are other situations that you wanted to talk about uh, on on where this would fit and what what that situation would look like. So why don't you tell everyone about that? Sure, typically when you when you think about uh, our focus, which is uh, annuity funding strategies, you think about us talking um, about doing a 1035 from an existing index annuity, VA, or, or even a fixed product into our annuity care strategy. Well, here's a little different twist. Think about this. You got a client or clients they have some VAs in place. Everything's performed beautifully as it relates to their whole portfolio. And remember, we're working with a holistic view for everything that we do. From a planning perspective, you know, you might find a gap here that keeps you revenue neutral. So they have, they have a pretty rounded plan. Their income needs are met. They got a VA with an income rider uh, that they bought 10 years ago. And they're like, well, I'm not ever going to turn it on because I don't need it. What can I do? Well, why don't you just turn it on and use it to pay your premiums? Think about this for a minute. If you turn on that income rider, that distribution is not gonna be last in, first out. You're still gonna have some exclusion ratio in there, so you may get a little bit of tax save. Secondarily, you can utilize that without impacting any of your other revenue producing resources as your funding vehicle. In short, you can five pay, 10 pay, 20 pay, or heck, even pay to age 95 into an asset care policy, get the lift, get the leverage, and never even once sacrifice from an income perspective what your plan is and what your revenue producing income 
has been or will be, mm -hmm. the only thing you're doing is turning on an idle asset into an active asset that's playing a little bit, bit of defense for the rest of your portfolio. Right. And that's the idea of what we're talking about of using the right. income rider as a funding source. Right. Now, remember one thing. We can do this for an individual or for a couple, but they both have to be insurable. Mm -hmm. And remember with asset care, we can get out to table eight. So we got options. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anything you uh, want to add on top of that? Um, yeah, Kev, just you know, when you're thinking about clients, think about people that have some income stream that they may not need to allocate directly to uh, immediate usage, right? So, you know, what could that be, right? Now at 72, they've got that RMD that they have to take out, those required minimum distributions. Sometimes people don't want to take that out. They'd rather hold that in there. Well, they have to take it out, and now they've got a real good purpose for that. So the RMDs could be an income stream. And even if they started before 72, they could switch on that uh, RMD income stream and allocate it towards this when they hit 72. There are people that know they're going to get a certain amount from Social Security, and they may not need that or all of it. Again, another consistent income stream for that. And there are people with pensions. There are still pensions out there, not like they were many, many years ago, but uh, eventually I'll retire and I'm going to have one from GE and one from our current company, Kevin and I work for, from One America. So thank you, One America, for that. <laughs> pensions are available. So income streams, you know, different ways money can come in, different ways to fund. I'm just saying that, you know, that's, that's something to think about. Um, what else, Kev, before we kind of wrap things up here and let everybody get back to their day? I know we got a couple of things for you to go over. Our, our whole objective here is to provide you with some ideas of, uh, of how to repurpose, redesign, reconfigure uh, portfolios, assets, funding sources to meet your clients' different needs. Remember at One America, we're not a cookie cutter. Not everyone has a six-year six benefit period. Everyone likes to think about six years, but six years, that's just a number. The reality is everyone has a unique need, and we're uniquely positioned at One America to address those needs because we don't believe in that cookie-cutter solution. So anyway, with that, I want to uh, encourage you to grab the phone, contact Michael, contact me, either of our internals, Jen Wagner or Justin Fox, if you have any questions or want to just share some ideas uh, about a case with us. And we'll, we'll certainly work with you to try to, try to find the best solution. Uh, one thing I also want to remind you is, Tuesday nights, our virtual consumer yes. seminar. Take advantage of that. We've we've got a few months left in the year. And if we can at, at worst help you, help your clients understand the risk in which they face uh, as it relates to an extended healthcare event, we've more than done our job. Yeah. The best thing that we can do is get them to act and create a solution and a plan mm -hmm. for themselves and help address those needs. So with that, Mike, I'm gonna throw it back to you. You can have your, our uh, closing thought for the day, and I'll have some more caffeine while we're going at it. <laughs> okay. I mean, remember, these products we're talking about, and I can't say this enough because it's so important, because the industry's gotten a black eye and maybe well-deserved, but our annual pay products are guaranteed from a premium standpoint and a benefit standpoint as well. That's still our whole life chassis, still going to be a death benefit, so it's not a use it or lose it proposition. The benefits are guaranteed and the premiums can never go up. So anyway, just keep that in mind. Our thought for the week is from an author, a salesman, and motivational speaker by the name of Zig Ziglar. And he had a lot of success in that world And uh, when it comes to motivational speaking. And uh, this is what he had to say because people used to challenge him about motivation. He said, people, people often say that motivation doesn't last well. Neither does bathing. That's why we recommend it <laughs> daily. So keep that in mind. The next time you're in the shower or you're thinking things aren't going well, just give yourself a little pep talk. I hope that pep talk lasts you for a full week and you have a great week. And uh, Kevin, I really hope that you come back and see us next Tuesday. Thanks and for being here. And don't forget to take a bath. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Kevin. <laughs>